the huge animal was covered with fur. And in a lifetime, it looks like this, fur of a woolly mammoth. Today, we will journey through time and space, where we explore the intricate tapestry of life on our planet. The circle of life, a symphony of birth and rebirth, paints a breathtaking picture of biodiversity that has evolved over millions of years. However, within this captivating slide, there are moments when nature takes an unexpected, somber turn. Join us as we explore the photographic evidence of creatures that once graced this earth with their presence, only to fade away into the annals of history, leaving behind a trail of mystery and wonder. Number 20. Quagga Back in its glory days, the quagga was quite the rock star. Imagine only one of these striped wonders struck a pose for the camera. That celebrity quagga, a lady of the wild, flaunted her stripes at a swanky London zoo photo shoot in 1870. Unfortunately, the paparazzi missed her out in her natural habitat. No candid shots for this elusive beauty. Now, if you were to hop on a time machine to South Africa, you'd witness the quaggas in all their striped glory roaming in a numbers game that would put your high school math nightmares to shame. But surprise, surprise, humans just couldn't resist the temptation of their stylish hides and mouth-watering meat. So the Quaggas had a bye-bye party and were hunted right into extinction. The final curtain call for the Quagga show happened in the 1870s, with the very last encore in captivity doing its final bow in August 1883. But hold your hats because the quagga wasn't quite ready to call it quits. In 1987, a bunch of determined folks, let's call them the Quagga Resurrection Squad, decided to bring this rock star back from the afterlife. They cracked open the ancient DNA vaults and gave the quagga the honor of being the first extinct animal to undergo a DNA makeover. Turns out this striped sensation was more than just a pretty face. It was part of the zebra family, with a dash of that special quagga flair. And guess what? In 1988, a little foal made its debut in the quagga comeback tour. Scientists were crossing their fingers, hoping to bring back the perfect combo of coat patterns, stripes, and colors that made the original quagga a fashion icon of the animal kingdom. Number 19. Saber-toothed tiger. Saber-toothed tigers, also known as saber-toothed cats or lions, were immense feline creatures that inhabited the Earth from 55 million to 11,700 years ago. These carnivores derived their name from their elongated, blade-like canine teeth, which could reach lengths of up to 50 centimeters. Bearing a resemblance to bears in terms of their physique, these creatures were exceptional hunters, preying on animals such as mammoths and sloths. Their fearsome reputation was further fueled by their ability to open their jaws at a remarkable 120-degree angle, twice as wide as a modern lion. The decline of these apex predators is thought to be linked to the extinction of the large herbivores they hunted. Other potential factors include competition with early humans, the absence of megafauna, and shifts in the climate. Saber-toothed tigers were known for their prowess in taking down sizable prey, including fiery mastodons, giant sloths, camels, oxen, caribou, bison, and other large animals. Due to their substantial size, they required a significant amount of food to sustain themselves. On average, these cats weighed around 750, stood at 3 feet tall, and measured 5.5 feet in length. Contrary to what one might assume, these ancient tigers are more closely related to clouded leopards than to modern domestic cats. Fossil evidence suggests that they may have engaged in pack hunting and exhibited a unique behavior of allowing injured members to feed before the healthy ones. Number 18. Western Black Rhino Behold, the tragic tale of the Western Black Rhino, a heavyweight in the rhinoceros world, and a glaring example of how human greed can take a toll on even the mightiest of beasts. These majestic creatures, with their prized cargo, found themselves in the crosshairs of poaching madness. The result? A playbook of poaching horror stories, with western black rhinos and their kin paying the hefty price. Once upon a time, these rhinos ruled the roost in West Africa, 
strutting their stuff like the rock stars they were. But alas, times changed, and these once mighty beasts went from rulers to relics, their numbers dwindling faster than a snow cone in the Sahara. In a somber declaration, the IUCN gave them the extinct stamp in 2011, and since then, no one's been brave enough to argue otherwise. Back in the roaring 1930s, conservationists rolled up their sleeves, determined to give these rhinos a second shot at life. The results were like a rhino renaissance. Their numbers shot up, and it seemed like the good times were here to stay. But hold your rhino hats, because the 1980s barged in like an unwanted guest at a party, bringing a surge of poaching frenzy. Suddenly, everyone had a rhino on their shopping list. Tusks, body parts, you name it. It was like a bizarre rhino bazaar, with buyers from all corners of the globe waving their wallets. Naturally, folks needing an extra buck decided to trade their office chairs for forest expeditions, hunting down rhinos faster than you can say, endangered species. As the 21st century dawned, a mere handful of these magnificent creatures were left, a measly count of ten. But even that proved too much for the forces of darkness and by 2006, they vanished like a magician's disappearing act. Number 17. The Tarpon The Tarpon, also recognized as the Eurasian Wild Horse, roamed the wilderness from 1875 to 1890. The indiscriminate hunting of these creatures led to their eventual extinction. Similar to many other animals on the same unfortunate path, the tarpon's downfall was sealed when a hunter fatally wounded the last known individual during a capture attempt. The final tarpon in captivity met its end in 1918. Characterized by a robust build, standing around five feet tall at the shoulder, tarpons displayed a distinct appearance. They boasted a grillo-colored body with contrasting dark legs, a thick mane, and distinctive shoulder stripes. An image purportedly taken in 1884 is often cited as the sole surviving photo of a live tarpon, though some debate surrounds its authenticity. Efforts were made by scientists to resurrect this species from extinction, but their endeavors proved unsuccessful. While certain arguments posit that tarpons closely resemble contemporary domestic horses, there are discernible differences in their physical attributes. The modern breed that bears the closest resemblance to the tarpon is the heck horse, bred by German biologist Lutz Heck in the 1930s. He aspired to revive the tarpon's traits and characteristics, aiming for a creature akin to the ancient breed. Both the tarpon and the heck horse are viewed as untamed descendants of their domestic counterparts. Number 16. The Woolly Mammoth The woolly mammoth, a colossal creature believed to share ancestry with modern-day elephants, embarked on a journey from Africa 3.5 million years ago, spanning across northern Eurasia and North America. Towering at four meters in height and weighing an impressive six tons, these majestic beings sported a thick fur coat that shielded them against temperatures plummeting below minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Their distinctive curved tusks, reaching up to an astonishing five meters in length, added to their awe-inspiring presence. Among the nine mammoth species, the woolly mammoth held the distinction of being the smallest. Unfortunately, the echoes of these magnificent creatures faded from our planet around 10,000 years ago, succumbing to a combination of rampant hunting and shifting climatic conditions. Though the majority of woolly mammoths vanished 10 millennia ago, a few managed to persist for another 3,700 years before bidding their final farewell. The last known individual of this extraordinary lineage resided on Wrangel Island, nestled near Russia, until its passing in 1700 BC. Some intrepid minds speculate that pockets of woolly mammoths may have endured in remote Siberian recesses, shielded from exploration due to the region's vast expanses. Number 15. Seychelles' Giant Tortoise Way back in the 19th century, things took a dark turn for these gentle giants. The Seychelles' Giant Tortoise which had a striking resemblance to its modern-day tortoise buddies, got a one-way ticket to the Extinction Express. It was the talk of the town, chilling by streams and marshes, munching on the veggie buffet like a true foodie. But oh snap, the tortoise's grazing habits caught the eye of passers-by and hunters alike. 
Before it knew it, the tortoise had fans who were a bit too enthusiastic, leading to its unfortunate demise. It's like it was the celebrity everyone wanted a piece of, but for all the wrong reasons. Fast forward to 2011, and guess what? A sneaky study found a bunch of these tortoises, 28 grown-ups, and 40 younglings just hanging out. They were shipped off to Cousin Island, and it's believed they're the long-lost Seychelles giants. Talk about a tortoise comeback. And speaking of ancient animals, have you heard of Jonathan? This island celeb from St. Helena is now strutting his stuff in the Guinness World Records as the oldest living mammal. At a whopping 187 years old, Jonathan's probably got tales that make even the coolest grandparent envious. Number 14. Barbary Lion The Barbary Lion, also recognized as the Atlas or Nubian Lion, once roamed the lands of Morocco and Egypt. Among the various lion subspecies, it stood out as the largest and most robust. This regal creature is even believed to have been pitted in gladiatorial combat during the times of ancient Rome. Unlike its counterparts, the Barbary lion did not form prides, mainly due to the scarcity of food within its habitat. Historians pinpoint the demise of the Barbary lion with the unfortunate event in 1922, when a French colonial hunter allegedly ended the life of the last wild Barbary lion in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. With their characteristic dark manes and impressive size, these lions once garnered admiration. They were often favored by the royal families of North African nations, including Morocco, and also captured the attention and respect of Europeans. Notably, the Barbary lions were briefly housed at the Tower of London and showcased in parks and zoos across Europe. Throughout their history, these magnificent animals faced extensive exploitation, facing confinement within shrinking territories due to Arab influences and enduring mass killings in the games of ancient Rome. In the 19th century, European involvement further contributed to their decline, driving them towards extinction. Controversy remains regarding whether some zoo-dwelling lions today can trace their ancestry back to the Barbary lion. If proven true, conservationists face the challenge of devising effective strategies to safeguard this lineage for future generations. Number 13. Carolina Parakeet The Carolina Parakeet, once a vibrant and colorful species that painted the skies with its feathers, has sadly become extinct. These parrots were native to the eastern United States and thrived in old forests and by rivers. However, their story took a tragic turn in 1918 when the last male parakeet, Incas, passed away, marking the end of these beautiful birds. The Carolina parakeet faced numerous challenges, including being hunted for their feathers, which were used as fashion accessories. This relentless hunting, combined with natural disasters like floods and fires, pushed the species to the brink of extinction. Additionally, the parakeets were unable to withstand the diseases of the time, further contributing to their decline. Ultimately, the once teeming skies that were filled with the vibrant colors of the Carolina parakeet became empty and silent. The loss of these birds is a poignant reminder of the devastating impact that human actions and environmental conditions can have on a species. Number 12. Golden Toad The Golden Toad, once abundant in the Monteverde cloud forest in Costa Rica, met a tragic fate and became extinct. In the late 1980s, there were approximately 1,500 adult toads that gathered in the forest's shallow pools for breeding. However, by 1990, the toads had completely disappeared from their habitat. The reasons for their extinction are still unknown, but habitat loss, the chytrid fungus, and shifts in weather patterns are considered possible causes. A study conducted in 1992 revealed that an unusual weather pattern from 1988 to 1990 played a significant role. After a dry season, heavy rainfall disrupted the timing required for successful breeding. The accelerated filling of the breeding pools eliminated the necessary shallow conditions that the golden toads relied on. This tragic event highlights the vulnerability of species to environmental changes and the importance of understanding their habitats and breeding patterns. Number 11. Japanese Tiger 
Meet the Javan tiger, a majestic subspecies of tiger that once called the Java Islands in Indonesia home. These striking creatures had quite the taste in food, chowing down on wild boar, rusa deer, banteng, and even some waterfowl and reptile snacks. But as time rolled on, trouble brewed in paradise. By the 1940s, the poor Javan tigers were getting nudged out of their favorite haunts due to habitat loss. Imagine your favorite hangout turning into a construction zone, not cool. To make matters worse, the lush natural forests were chopped up to make way for coffee, rubber, and teak plantations. It's like someone decided to bulldoze your favorite park to put up a parking lot. This left the Javan tiger with little space to roam and even less food to munch on. The story takes a somber turn as we delve into the Javan tiger's disappearance. Hunting and deforestation played tag team, spelling doom for these magnificent creatures. They were hunted to the brink, and their cozy forests were bulldozed to make room for farms and roads. The last time anyone saw a Javan tiger with their own eyes was way back in 1976, hiding out in the remote Mount Batiri like a mystery guest at a party. The saddest chapter came in 2003 when the Javan tiger was officially stamped as extinct. The lights went out on this chapter of Earth's history, leaving only memories and a deep sense of loss. But wait, in a twist that's straight out of a wildlife detective novel, there's a glimmer of hope. In 2017, a park ranger in Ujung Kulon National Park snapped a photo of a big cat that seemed like a Javan tiger look-alike. It's like spotting Elvis at a grocery store, unexpected and mind-boggling. Could it be a sign that these tigers are plotting a comeback? Conservationists are on the case, setting up sneaky camera traps to catch any evidence of Javan tiger activity. It's like the wildlife paparazzi on a mission to snap the next big shot. So while the Javan tiger's official status is extinct, there's a whisper in the wind that maybe, just maybe, they're not quite ready to take their final bow. Number 10. Round Island Burrowing Boa The Round Island Burrowing Boa, a unique snake species from Round Island, Mauritius, made its last appearance in 1975. Measuring about a meter in length, this boa had a chic, light brown ensemble with blackish spots and a cylindrical head with a pointy snout. It lived in a territory of around 1.5 square kilometers, indulging in a menu of lizards, chicks, and their eggs. However, by 1949, researchers noticed a decline in the boa's population, leading to its classification as a threatened species. In the 1970s, reports suggested that only 50 individuals of the boa remained, highlighting the urgency of the situation. Conservationists took action to restore the boa's habitat and save the species from extinction. Habitat loss, caused by soil erosion due to overgrazing by rabbits and goats, was identified as the main threat. Additionally, an increase in natural prey further reduced the boa's numbers. Today, the Round Island burrowing boa may have retreated into the shadows, but conservationists continue their efforts to protect and revive the species. Their dedication and passion for preserving unique wildlife give hope for the boa's future. With habitat restoration and conservation initiatives, there is a possibility of a triumphant comeback for this serpentine charm of Round Island. Number 9. The Syrian Half Donkey The Syrian Half Donkey, now a creature of the past, once roamed the lands predominantly in regions like Syria, Palestine, and Iraq. Adhering to its name, this equine inhabitant sported a distinctive hue, a delicate interplay of light gray and pink fur. Yet, as the sands of time settled, its coat gracefully transitioned toward a subdued gray shade as it matured. Notably, the donkey's ears also shared in this color transformation, shifting from an initial dark gray to an eventual almost white hue as the years progressed. Nature, it seemed, had scripted a challenging narrative for the Syrian donkey. Its historical domain was teeming with potential predators, the likes of lions, leopards, and wolves. Against this backdrop, the donkey engaged in a constant battle for survival. However, the tides of fate took a decisive turn during the tumultuous era of the First World War. The advance of Turkish Bedouin and British troops marked the beginning of a retreat, and the Syrian donkey's population dwindled with each passing day. Eventually, this noble creature succumbed to the relentless forces of change. 
Number 8. Paradise Parrot The Paradise Parrot, a feathered celebrity of yesteryears, has sadly departed the global stage, leaving a void of glitz and glamour in the wild. This enchanting parrot once called the eastern heartlands of Australia, its home river valleys, woodlands, and the native grasses were its stomping grounds. It was a true local at heart, living in tranquil harmony within its cherished habitat. In terms of size, the paradise parrot leaned towards the petite side, stretching out to a modest 27 to 30 inches. Its underbody boasted a lush emerald green or a tantalizing turquoise hue, while its upper wings donned a cozy brown tone paired with a splash of vibrant blue along its underwing. Quite the fashion-forward avian. However, a tale of woe unfolded, and since 1928, this charming parrot has remained a no-show, prompting the International Union for the Conservation of Nature to formally declare it extinct. An unfortunate lineup of culprits contributed to this avian vanishing act. With a spotlight on predation, habitat loss, and Mother Nature's moody droughts. The cast also includes human-made villains like eucalyptus tree trimming and the audacious overgrazing of farm animals. Today, if you want a rendezvous with this rare parrot, your best bet is to scour the pages of books or the pixels of videos like the one you're watching. As for its private details, life expectancy and matters of romance remain shrouded in mystery. Number 7. Dodo Let's travel back in time to the mysterious land of Mauritius, where a curious creature known as the Dodo once roamed the earth. This flightless wonder graced the island hundreds of years ago, but its presence was as fleeting as a whisper in the wind. The last glimpse of this enigmatic bird was caught somewhere between 1688 and 1715, leaving behind a trail of questions and legends. By the 7th century, the dodo had already become a rarity, sparking debates and discussions among curious minds. It was like trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces. And then, like a final note in a tragic symphony, scientists played their last tune in the 19th century, officially declaring the dodo extinct. The curtain fell on this peculiar avian performer, leaving only echoes of its existence. Mauritius dodos had versatile eating habits with their favorite foods as nuts, seeds, and roots. It may have also consumed shellfish and crabs thanks to its strong beak. Here's where it gets super interesting. They were never scared of humans. Instead, humans were scared of them leading to mass killings. Number 6. Thylacine The thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger, was the largest carnivorous marsupial in modern times. It stood at 2 feet tall and stretched to 6 feet in length. Originally found in New Guinea and Australia, their population declined due to human activity, leading to their extinction. However, some claim to have spotted thylacines in the 1980s, although these sightings have been difficult to verify. The thylacine had a sleek body with 15 to 20 dark stripes, making it a fashionable marsupial. It had smoky black eyes and cute brown triangles with orange fur jackets. Despite its trendy appearance, the thylacine was not just about looks. It had a jawline with 46 teeth and preferred hunting at night. Its diet included birds, kangaroos, and various smaller animals. Although officially extinct, the thylacine has left a lasting impact on history. Its unique characteristics and mysterious sightings have made it a memorable creature. Perhaps somewhere out there, thylacines are living in secret, enjoying kangaroo smoothies and laughing at humans from their hidden marsupial hideaway. Now. It's time for our subscribers pick. The photo above showcases the last glimpse of the Baiji dolphin. Once a majestic resident of China's Yangtze River, the Baiji white dolphin, also known as the Chinese river dolphin, graced the waters with its elegance. But some years ago, the curtain fell on its presence, marking the final chapter of an extraordinary journey. Imagine a creature two to two meters long with a slender beak and pale gray skin mastering the art of aquatic prowess. Swift and graceful, these dolphins navigated their habitat with echoes as their guide. Yet, as time marched on, their world shifted. If the Baiji dolphin could have given a Yelp review about their river home, what do you think they'd rate the human interference and water quality? Comment below with your creative ratings and let's see who gets the most dolphin-approved thumbs up. Number 5. 
Japanese Sea Lion. In its prime, the Japanese Sea Lion commanded the spotlight as a renowned ocean denizen. It gracefully glided through open waters and found repose in sun-kissed bays along the Japanese archipelago and the Korean peninsula. Modern times have witnessed its vanishing act from these once familiar aquatic landscapes. Today, the Japanese sea lion is a spectral figure, etched into the annals of legends, curated within museum exhibits, enshrined in textbooks, and revisited here on this channel. Before the year 2003, taxonomic bonds tethered the Japanese sea lion to its Californian kin, the California sea lion, a connection rooted in their shared features. Both held membership in the exclusive fraternity of eared seals, marked by the enduring presence of those distinguished ear flaps and forward-facing hind flippers. In epochs gone by, the coastlines teemed with a notable population, perhaps numbering 30,000 to 5,000 of these captivating creatures. Regrettably, the tides of fate shifted, and the tumultuous 1970s marked the swan song for many of these maritime residents, ushering them into the realm of extinction. Curiously, the Japanese sea lion's nautical domain harbored few adversaries, a fact highlighted by the poignant exception humanity itself. For motives as perplexing as they are disheartening, these majestic beings fell victim to our desires for their whiskers, hides, and even their internal treasures. A somber spectacle unfolded as they were plucked from their aquatic abode and paraded within circus confines. Additionally, the looming shadows of harvesting and the unintended impacts of fishing practices cast a dark cloud over their existence. Number 4. Sicilian Wolf In the realm of canines, a somber tale unfolds, revealing the plight of various gray wolf species across locales. The hands of time have witnessed a bleak decline in their populations, some vanishing into oblivion before the very eyes of science. Human activities, whether indiscriminate hunting or the encroachment of habitats, have cast a shadow over their existence, marking their final days in the wild with a painful struggle. Among these wolf tales, the spotlight falls upon the Sicilian wolf. Once a resident of the largest jewel in the Mediterranean's crown, they thrived on Sicily's landscapes until the tides of fate turned against them. Slowly and sadly, their presence dwindled, a tale of gradual fading from the spotlight. In the vast Siberian expanses, these wolves bore resemblances to their Italian brethren. Yet a distinct note was struck in their lighter tawny coats, adorned with a telltale dark band gracing their forelimbs. These creatures of the wild found themselves entangled in a conflict with human settlers. As their appetite ventured towards livestock, relationships soured with the island's farmers. A fierce battle to safeguard livelihoods ensued, one where the wolves often met the losing end. Their lives were marked by massive culling, a result of this discord. Another lamentable factor etched into their tale was an ecological catastrophe that engulfed their habitat, a blow from which they struggled to recover. The seismic shock of this disaster reverberated through their population, casting a long and unforgiving shadow from which they could not escape. Even today, the echoes of their story serve as a poignant reminder of the fragile balance between humanity and the untamed world. Number 3. Heath Hen The Heath Hen once inhabited the eastern coast of the United States, yet regrettably it has vanished both from its native habitat and elsewhere. This species stood as a distinct subspecies of the prairie chicken and was primarily found on Martha's Vineyard in the U.S., Although sharing physical similarities, especially in appearance, with its prairie counterparts, the heath hen was relatively smaller, measuring around 17 inches in length and weighing approximately 2 pounds. Thriving during the colonial era, these hens faced a gradual decline in their population due to multiple factors, most notably being hunted for sustenance. As gallinaceous birds, their vulnerability was exacerbated. While hunting played a substantial role, it wasn't the sole contributor to their extinction. While their delectable taste and easy target status made them susceptible to hunting, the islanders devised a novel approach to conservation. They focused on safeguarding their habitats, shielding them from both predators and hunters. Tragically, the heath hens were also besieged by wildfires, further hastening their decline. 
This environmental challenge drastically reduced their numbers, impeding any potential recovery. By the year 1933, the last living member of this species, a notable individual named Booming Ben, represented the culmination of the Heath Hen lineage. Number 2. Guam Flying Fox The Guam Flying Fox, also known as the Little Marianas Fruit Bat, was a tiny bat from the Marianas Islands in Micronesia. It was often seen with the larger Mariana fruit bat. The last sighting of this bat was in 1967 when a female was found at Tarag Cliff but escaped captivity. Since the 1970s, the Guam flying fox has been considered extinct. It had a length of 15 centimeters, a wingspan of 70 centimeters, and weighed 152 grams. It was known for its love of fruit, and scientists discovered a neurotoxin called BMAA in its tissues, which raised questions about a brain ailment in Guam linked to the bat's consumption. In 2021, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service officially declared the Guam flying fox extinct. Despite its disappearance, the bat's story lives on with a touch of humor and mystery. Number 1. The Tacopa Pupfish Allow me to introduce you to the Tacopa Pupfish, a teeny, shimmering celebrity of the Nevada desert waters, now an extinct A-lister. Picture a fish that measures a mere 1.5 centimeters, that's like aquatic micro fashion. This fish rocked shades of blue and purple, flaunting scales that would make any aquatic runway proud. Its VIP status was cemented in the salty ponds it called home, with the hottest hangout being the Tacopa Hot Springs, where water temps hit a steamy 35 degrees Celsius. Just a tad warm, don't you think? Now, don't be fooled by its pint-sized dimensions. This fish knew how to keep the pond bustling. It fancied its meals with a side of blue-green algae. And boy, did they throw some algae parties. Within a single year, you'd witness a whopping 10 generations of the little fishies doing their baby fish thing. Hold on to your fins, because here's where the plot takes a dramatic twist. How could a fish with such impressive reproduction skills face extinction, you ask? Well, let's rewind to the 1940s. Someone had the brilliant idea to give the springs a makeover. Canals and bathhouses were installed, cranking up the heat to sauna-level temperatures. It's like someone turned the fish's cozy hot tub into a fish sauna. As you can guess, this haute transformation left our glam fish friends with no place to call home. And thus, their curtain call was written in the sands of time. As we draw the curtains on this captivating journey through the annals of time, we hope you found yourself immersed in the stories of these incredible beings that once called our planet home. Thank you for embarking on this remarkable exploration with us. See you in the next one.